Good morning and welcome to Burns Bible Stories for Kids. We've been doing this each Friday at 11 o'clock and just taking a story from the Jesus Storybook Bible. This is my grandson Judah's favorite book and he's let me borrow this. I promised him that I would give it back to him when we were done because he loves it so much. But I wanted to share some of the stories with you um, at this time each and every week. And today's story is called Son of Laughter. And it's really the story of Abraham and Sarah. So if you'll join with me, I'd love to read this to you. Years passed and things didn't get any better. People were still just as cruel and mean to one another. They still got sick, they still got taught, and they still died. God's world was still full of tears and it was never meant to be like this. But God was getting ready to do something about it. He was going to make all the wrong things right and he was going to do it through a family. So God said, Abraham, how many stars are there? God was about to tell his friend a wonderful secret. Abraham said, let me see. Started rolling up his sleeves and started counting the stars. Have you ever tried to do that? Abraham's like 993, 994, uh, 997. Oh, wait. Uh, let me start at one, two. And of course, he kept losing count because there's, there's way too many. God laughed at him and said, guess what? I'll give you so many children and grand trip, grandchildren and great-grandchildren, you won't be able to count them either. Now, Abraham couldn't help but giggle at such a wonderful idea, but he stopped himself. He said, how could he have a family? Don't be silly. He didn't have any ch kids. He didn't have any grandkids. And he wiped away a tear. It was far too late, so Abraham thought, for him to start having babies at his age. He's 99 years old. So what could God mean? God said, Abraham believe me. And then God told Abraham his secret rescue plan. Abraham, I'll make your family very big until one day your family will come to number more than even all the stars in the sky. And Abraham looked up at the dark night sky, thick with stars. God said, you will be my special fa family, my people, and through you, everyone on earth will be blessed. It was an incredible promise. God was going to rescue the world through Abraham's family. One of his great, 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 great grandchildren would be the child, the promised one, the rescuer. Abraham thought, but it's too wonderful. How can it be true? And God asked him, is anything too good to be true? Is anything too wonderful for me? So Abraham trusted what God said more than his eyes could see, and he believed. Now, when Abraham's wife, Sarah, heard God's promise, she just laughed to herself. But it wasn't a happy laugh. It had tears in it. She had always wanted a baby. Could her dreams possibly come true? Could she really have a baby when she was 90 years old? Of course not. Don't be silly. It was far too late for her. Sarah didn't believe God could do what he promised. She had forgotten that when God says something, it's as good as done. Of course, it was easy for God to give her a baby son as it was for him to make all the stars in the sky, right? Sure enough, nine months later, just as God had promised, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy, and they named him Isaac, which means son of laughter. And Sarah laughed, but this time it was a glorious, happy laugh, because her dream had come true. God would do just as he promised. He would always look after Abraham's family, his special people. And one day, God would send another baby, a baby promised to a girl who didn't even have a husband, but this baby would bring laughter to the whole world. This baby would be everyone's dream come true. Thank you so much for joining us for Burns Bible Story for Kids. And we hope you join us again next Friday morning at 11 as well. Hope you have a blessed week weekend. And don't forget to listen to KCBI.